Thank you. Oh, so we have some Acropolis Now fans in the crowd tonight. Is that right? Well, the, well, I've got some good news for you. It's back on the TV. It's on the History Channel. So if you've got Foxtel, you're in luck. Acropolis Now. So that means Acropolis Now was made in the 80s and 90s. So how many people actually watched Acropolis Now in the 80s and 90s, including my friend George Donegan over there, the Irish Greek guy? How many people here tonight weren't even born in the 80s and 90s? Well, turn off your frickin' phones. What's wrong with your generation with those bloody iPhones and those iPads? I've got two boys, two sons, a seven-year-old and a 10-year-old. They can't take a shit without the bloody iPad. Dad, bring the iPad, Dad. I'm constipated, Dad. The iPad is a laxative in our house. They can't do anything without the iPad. They can't watch TV without the iPad. It's the same show on the TV as the iPad. Why did I spend $5,000 on the plasma screen? Because it's our, pa our iPad, Dad. All right, you minimum like a shut up. They can't, they, can't, they can't eat their dinner without the iPad. They can't actually sit in the car without the iPad on their lap. That's 75% of Australian children. When I was a kid, I didn't have an iPad in the car. We didn't have a car. We had to borrow Giovanni's, the Italiano from next door. And then there was 17 of us in the car. I didn't get a seat until I was 20 years of age. I used to have to sit on the gears and move the gears for my dad while he was smoking the Winnie Reds with a window rolled up. No wonder I've got emphysema now. Barking instructions at me. All right, Zorts. You listen to me. You have the... You move the gears, all right? De, that means that way. R, that's right back over there. N, that's not going nowhere. And P, what's P for, Dad? Bloody poof the bastard. I'm going to run him over if he doesn't hurry up. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Now my mum, my 80-year-old mum, she's been in this country for 60 years. She can't speak a word of English. But now she got herself an iPhone. And she's complaining about it already. She's going, Zots, this iPhone, it's shit. It's shit, Zots. It's not working. I said, Mum, that's because you need a nap. She goes, I had one at three o'clock. It's still not working. I said, Our app, Mum, our app. I said, What's your phone number? She said, Six. I said, that's your phone number, six? She goes, yes, stupid, it's a nice six, you got it for me, Vlaka. What is going on? It's stressing me out, ladies and gentlemen, these bloody iPhones. When I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have iPhones, we had telephones, telephones. By the time we rang up our friends and cousins to go out, right, to billboards for Goya's night, by the time we rang up our cousins to go out, it'd be the end of the night. It used to take so long to make a phone call. You don't even know what I'm doing, do you? I'm making a phone call. That's how we used to make phone calls in those days. We used to stick our finger in the hole. That's what we used to do at Goya's too. We used to stick our finger in the hole because, you know, We didn't have bloody iPhones, we had wall phones. Who had a wall phone at home? Wall phone is the best thing. Because if you lost your phone, it's on the wall. Vlaka, there it is. And they were stress relievers, those things. Because if you had an argument, all you'd go is, get stuff, hang up. You can't do that with an iPhone. Get stuff, hang on a minute. <laughs> iTunes, we have to pay for our music now. In the 80s and 90s, we didn't have iTunes, we had mixtapes. Mixtapes, mate. And we used to get all the songs from the radio station and take out the commercials with a pause and record. Pause and record. And if your tape got stuck in the tape deck, all you needed was a pencil to fix it. <laughs> hey? We didn't have Facebook. Everyone's obsessed with Facebook now. Look at them. They're all on Facebook. In my day, if you saw someone nice at the discotheque, hey? at the Heidelberg United Disco <laughs> at the club. 
We didn't have Facebook. We had phone book. Oh, shit, what's the name again? Sula Sakaputso Dimitropoulos. How do you spell that? I need a whole book for that name. Hey, Pokemon. My kids, last year, obsessed with Pokemon in the middle of the Eastern Freeway. Stop the car, Dad. It's a Pokemon. Where? Where is it? Where? How am I supposed to know? I'm from Back to the Future with Michael J. Fox. In my day, we didn't have Pokemon. We had Pokemama. We weren't looking for Pikachu. We were looking for picking up. That's what we were into in those days, picking up with the pickup lines. We all had a pickup line. It was fun in those days. Not politically incorrect, picking up. Hey, baby, is that a ladder in your stocking or a stairway to heaven? That was my one, I know. I know, it was a pretty shit line. Didn't work for me. Didn't work for Don Burke. He's still using it in jail and didn't, didn't. Oh, so I'm the bad guy, am I? Didn't work for my dad when he came off the Patris from Greece in the 60s. Hey, baby, is that the leather in your stocking or do you want me to climb up and clean the leaves from the gutters? No, he was here to work, not muck around with Cheryl. We had fashion in those days, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell all the great dresses here tonight are from that era. Stand up all those people that went out to Goya's in the 80s and 90s. Stand up, let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. All the studs. Hey, there we go, Carousel, hey. Manhattan, hey. I remember driving past the Manhattan, it was a Greek night, and I went, hey George, everybody turned around, it was fantastic. <laughs> I used to go out, I used to wear a three-piece suit to go out to the nightclub. Now to get inside a nightclub, you have to take your shirt off to get inside the nightclub. I went to the nightclub, I took my shirt off, it still looked like I had a jumper on. I look like Chewbacca from Star Wars. See, you young people, you got it easy, see? Look, just relax, sitting there. Eh? You don't even have to leave the house now to pick up because the social media, everyone's on social media, Facebook, Instagram. This guy over here is on Grinder. Congratulations, yes vote. It's one year anniversary from the yes vote. Eh? Marriage equality. Who voted for marriage equality? See, all the politicians are putting their hand up. We did. No, we did. No, we did. Marriage equality. Oh, there's some things I don't understand because I'm a bit old-fashioned. Marriage equality. Some things I don't understand. For example, like when two girls, I mean two women, get married, right? Right? They get married, two women, right? Right. Well, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Well, what, ha what happens? Like, uh, who pays for the wedding? The father of the bride or the father of the bride? And if two gents get married, two gents, two Greek males get married, right? Okay. Two very flamboyant gay males get married, right? Who steps on the other one's foot? Because when I got married, my wife spe spe stepped on my foot 17 times. I said, all right, you're the man of the house. Calm down. I guess I'm a bit old-fashioned, ladies and gentlemen. A bit old-fashioned. Tinder. I don't understand Tinder. Love shouldn't be Tinder. Everyone's on Tinder. Love should be tender, like Elvis said. Didn't he sing? Love me Tinder. He didn't sing. Love me Tinder. Love me tweet. Text me something deep. No. Don't you remember... You guys, in the 80s and 90s, love was beautiful. We used to run to the mailbox because we knew we had a love letter in the mailbox. And we used to run in slow motion, Joyce. Slow motion. And then we'd get the love letter out and we'd smell it. Wouldn't we? We'd smell and it smelled beautiful. It smelled like um, Pinot Sylvestrine or <laughs> Brute 33 or Poison by Yves Saint Laurent. Hey, hey, what do texts and emails smell like? Nothing! Skata! Tiputa! And then you get the, the, the letter out of the envelope and all this fairy dust would go everywhere. Remember that? That's when I was going with. Out with the 18-year-old, I was 45. Anyway, 
Now to get married, what do we have to do? We have to go on TV. We have to go on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette to get married. And then the honey badger stuffed everything up. You can't even get married that way. I loved it when Sophie Monk was on. I love Sophie. Oh, yeah, I love Sophie Monk. No, she's real nice. No, yeah, I love it. I thought she was hot until I heard her voice. Oh, yeah, nah. She was in love with Stu, wasn't he? Oh, I love Stu. Oh, I love Stu. What's that short for? Stupid? Oh, yeah, Stu. <laughs> Couldn't she think of another name? Like, what can you stalk at our Stu? Right? And then there was Jared in the onesie. He came second. Ha, 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 ha. What's Stu got that I haven't got? <laughs> 500 million in the bank, you malaka. Shut up. Sorry for saying that word, by the way, malaka. You know what that word means? That's right, Tony Abbott. Very good. Very good. Actually, my son, my seven-year-old the other day said, Dad, you keep saying malaka. You're in a show, malakas with attitude. You've got the T-shirt with malakas. What does that word mean, malaka? I said, son, that's, I couldn't say wanker. It means a wanker. So I said, son, that's someone who touches their bulaki a lot. He goes, hey, that's me. Anyway. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful evening.